E.T. Prepper here. Today we're going to talk about the ultimate bug out vehicle. First, why do you want a bug out vehicle? Isn't your house good enough? Or, like the birds flying away? You need to fly away because of martial law, because of civil unrest, because of you name it. All sorts of things. In today's volatile society, sooner or later we're gonna have a time where we're gonna have to get out and get out quick. And we have to be ready to go. And this is the ultimate bug out vehicle. Yeah, it doesn't look so good, but this is a solid vehicle it's four-wheel drive, it's got a manual transmission, it's got a diesel engine that's converted over to burning vegetable oil, or you can burn uh, regular diesel, or engine oil, or trans fluid, or any kind of oil you can get into it as long as it's clean. Ah, it smells, it smells like donuts. Yum. The trick is heating the oil before you get to the engine. Actually, before you even get to the filter. We'll talk about that some other time. So why do you want it? All right, let's look inside, see what we got. Mechanically injected diesel, turbo diesel, um, a GM diesel. It's got good, strong power, um, and it's connected to an MD45 transmission, manual transmission. There are no electronics on this thing. The trick is to always have fuel and have a machine that's going to fire right up and go. Kind of like that. This thing is ready to go. It may... Well, it'll go through whatever I need it to go through. Plenty of room inside in the back. There's the uh, veggie oil tank. And the other one, uh, well, it, that's underneath, like it's a stock tank. There's plenty of uh, space. There's a, there's a back seat that goes in there. Batteries underneath here. This thing is ready to go. It's, it's a solid machine. Ideally, you have a limited slip differential in back and an air locker in front or a locker in back and an air locker in front. That way, it, there's no stopping you unless you get stupid and break the truck. But when you're in a bug out situation, you're going to have to be very careful. You're going to have to have a plan ahead of time. That's the trick. You need a plan. You, you can't just have an awesome vehicle like this and have no plan. If you don't have a plan, don't even bother. You got to know where you're going, where you're going to get your fuel, where, how many miles, where the people are going to meet you, everything else. So there's a lot of factors, but the main factor is, is having a vehicle that'll get you to go wherever you want it to go. One of the things, one of the reasons why I specify mechanically injected engines diesel as diesel you've got your choice of fuels the uh, if you got a gas you got to burn gas and guess what you have you're you're under the thumb they got to supply it somebody's got to supply it or you have to have your complete supply yourself here diesel mechanically injected diesel you got your own options the mechanically injected diesel has no electronics what happens if there would be an EMP you know what an EMP is an EMP can either come from the sun or from unnatural forces like a nuke over Nebraska that wipes out the whole country in one second. Basically, the electronics are fried. Everything, cell phones, everything shuts down. Uh, I can't imagine something that massive will ever strike us, but something on a smaller scale, absolutely. 
right now we're we're in the midst of sunspots and they they release um, EMPs on a smaller scale. Years ago, there was a uh, in 1859, the wires, the telegraph wires, actually burnt because of a uh, EMP from the sun. That's why no electronics. So it's going to fire up and go whenever, ever I need it to go, and wherever I need to go, I'm going to get there. By the way, this thing, even though it looks like a big gas guzzle and battle cruiser, the way I've designed it, well, the whole thing is built from the engine's different, the transmission's different from International. The axles are, are low ratio, 307, I believe, and I get great gas mileage as a result of that, or fuel mileage, and so I can go a great distance. And that's, again, you got to go back to how far you want to go on a, on a tank of fuel because you may not get another one. And if, let's say there is an amp and I'm driving, how many minutes do I have before somebody takes me out because I have a, a, a vehicle that moves and all the other ones are stopped? Think about that. How fast is that going to happen? My guess is you've got 45 minutes to an hour before people realize. So if you're on the interstate and you're going, and that massive event happens and all the cars shut down and you realize well you're, you're the one thinking about it so you realize this is this is a bad thing that just happened you got to get off the interstate and get on the side roads you got a better chance get as far as you can and get on the side roads and get to where you got to go put your plan in place and get it rolling so that's the whole thing is planning having the equipment and then Lord willing, you never have to execute your plan, but if you've got the equipment and the plan, you're good to go. Let's go for a ride. We are looking at a 1976 Scout with a 93 Chevy 6.5 turbo diesel. It's a manic, mechanically injected diesel, so you don't have to mess with the electronics. It is a NV4500 five speed with the overdrive. Four wheel drive, two high, four high, and four low with the auto hubs. And I can lock them or put them in and they go. All right. Um, it's got a four core aluminum radiator. The miles show, well, let's see if you can see them here. Zero, 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 zero. I've reset the mileage because of all the changes I've made. It's like a new truck. The alternator works great. Uh, it's, it's just been rebuilt. It's a single wire out now where it was multi-wire. Oil pressure is good. Temperature is coming up. Let's go for a ride. Here we go. Kind of nice out here today. Actually, it's beautiful. Here we go. I'm starting out in second gear. First gear is a granny gear. I've had a body shop set the doors of this thing. And the doors open and close really good. Right, here we go. Now we'll get it going a little bit. Geared really low, and I'll get up to speed. It hasn't really run much, but it's always ready to go. That's fifth gear. The gearing is such that it's about 1,725 RPMs at 70 miles an hour. So the engine's going to last like forever. And so will your fuel. It should get about 25 miles to the gallon. And beyond. The last to drive. There is no uh, no headliner in here, so it's kind of loud. And there's no carpet. It's just bare floor. It goes down the road real nice. I'm guessing probably about 55, 60 miles an hour right now. 
odometer, whatever, is not hooked up. Brakes, transmission, and engine. <laughs> oh, this is fun to drive. <laughs>